Hey, good evening, everybody. It's Carl. Welcome back to the uh, dining room. It's time for another, uh, I don't know, spicy challenge, meal prep, mukbang, whatever you want to call this. Tonight, I am going to be enjoying my boring old meal prep with some fresh peppers that my a good friend from high school sent me. Um, these peppers, he sent me actually a box of habaneros, and I think these are Thai chilies, but I'm not 100% sure. So if this looks familiar to anybody, please tell me what it is. I've sent him an Instagram message, and uh, he hasn't responded quite yet, so I don't know exactly what they are, but either way, I'm going to eat them. So yeah, so my buddy, the main man, is what we'll call him. He's the owner and proprietor of A- Skateboards, which is a local skateboard company here in uh, Bastrop, Austin, Central Texas. And uh, so he saw that I was, we recently hooked up on Instagram and uh, he saw that I was into spicy foods. He apparently had a bumper crop of uh, chilies. So he hit me up and said, hey, can I send you some, uh, some fresh chilies? I was like, absolutely. So they arrived in the mail today. He also sent me this really cool little uh, sticker um, for his company. And then on the back, he left me a personalized little note. So I hope these peppers are at least 145 degrees um, your friend. So thanks a lot, my friend. I don't know if you'll ever see these, but it is what it is. For those of you who are interested in the macros of my meal prep, it is um, 33 grams of protein for four ounces of chicken. Uh, carbohydrates, 44 grams or 100 grams of rice for 44. Um, uh, 182 grams of carbohydrates, sorry. 57 grams. All right, sorry, messing it all up. I'm looking at this thing wrong. All right, four ounces of chicken, 33 grams of protein. 100 ounces of rice is 44 grams of protein. And then the vegetables, you get fiber and stuff from those. All right, perfect. And then fat, uh, about 17 grams. That's the meal. I don't know what the peppers are. Anyway, let's get down to it. Yeah, so boring old meal. I'm going to start off with one of these little red guys because I don't know what they are. So let's see. And we'll just get the whole thing. Spicy, fresh, spicy. That's a spicy uh, pepper. I think those are Thai chilies. So you guys are definitely gonna see me uh, start to snot in water because nothing gets me more than fresh peppers. I love them, growing up. My grandpa used to trick me into eating um, jalapeno peppers by telling me they would teach me how to speak Spanish. If I ate them, I would learn how to speak Spanish, so. I started eating hot stuff pretty young. I was a pretty stupid kid. Um, but anyway, so yeah, my buddy who sent me these peppers, one of my best friends through all of high school. Man, we hung out so much. We did so many things together. Played in a garage band, skateboard, comic books. Goofed off in classes. We made t-shirts. Man, we just had a blast. We went to concerts. And so... We were actually in our first garage band together. The 145 is a throwback to our garage band, which was called Fury 145, uh, low-key named after the prison planet in Alien 3. Had a different uh, numbering system, but it was prison planet Fury 136 or something like that. I was a big sci-fi nerd, and uh, nobody really liked Alien 3, so nobody picked up on that's where the name came from. So, garage band man, he played guitar, he wrote all the songs, I played bass. Just good old times, doing silly high school stuff. Those were the good old days, you know, you didn't have a care in the world, you just had to make enough money to keep gas in the car and pack of smokes in your pocket and a cold beer, find somebody who was old enough to go buy it for you. We had plenty of those. We also had a lot of friends who were bouncers at the local bars because we were in the local music scene so they'd stamp our hands as old enough to drink and we'd sneak into the bars uh, anyway Miss Spent Youth man he was one of my best friends but you know how things go people grow up move to different cities get different careers take different paths in life and uh, we lost track of each other for a little while but thanks to social media we hooked up on uh, Facebook a few years ago and I've been in relatively 
uh, spotty communication here and there, but we had hooked up once again. He canceled all his social media and then uh, recently found me on Instagram, and so we've been communicating a little bit here and there, and he was kind enough to send me these peppers, so it's awesome to reconnect with an old friend. It's very cool that he wanted to send me some peppers, so maybe one of these days we'll get together and go have a cold beer or a coffee or something if I drink. I don't drink that much anymore, if ever, but maybe, you never know, special occasion. So anyway, that little chili, spicy, <clears throat> not a hefty burn, not a very long burn. And it's already starting to die down. So we'll eat the other one. Flavor-wise, they taste very much like fresh jalapenos with just a little bit of a different spice. Um, but they, they're, they're super fresh. He was kind of worried that they weren't going to get here on time because for some reason... The post office picked them up in the city that he lives in, and then they ended up back at that post office, but then they finally got here. So the peppers, he said that he sent them just a little, just barely ripe, so they had a chance to ripen in the package in the mail, so perfect. Uh, he sent me quite a bit of them. Let's show you guys. Yeah, I just got home from work, out of the shower, so wearing just some slobby clothes, so forgive that. But yeah, he sent, like... Like I said, quite a few, so I'm stoked to eat those. I've got, I don't know, I might make some salsa or roast them or maybe dry them. I don't know. Um, I've never had so many fresh habaneros. Usually I buy one or two if I'm going to use it for something special, but I don't really eat them raw. So this will be a fun experiment. About the only time I ate a fresh habanero, I was <clears throat> teaching a Sunday school class, and... Uh, I used it as an illustration about um, I was teaching the junior high boys. I think it was, no, that was when I ate the worm, using the right bait. Um, I don't remember exactly what the illustration was when I ate one of these, but I popped one in my mouth and it was pretty miserable way back then. So hopefully I've got a little bit more tolerance. If not, well, I'll just burn it on camera. Still getting a little bit of spice from that little, that last chai chili or that little red pepper. Those are good. Those are good. I've got quite a few of those in there too. I don't know if you saw them. So. Mm. You know, there is something about fresh habaneros that I forgot. They don't have the greatest flavor <laughs> fresh. When you puree them and make them into a sauce, they tend to have a different flavor. I think it's probably the stuff you mix them with, but just fresh. They're not the most flavorful pepper. That one's got some spice on it. That one's getting me already. Mouth is uh, starting to slobber and sting. Eyes are starting to burn. Nose is starting to uh, run. Definitely a good pepper there. That's a good, that's a good batch for sure. Hopefully the rest of them will be that hot or hotter. I'll get some good salsa out of it. <clears throat> Pretty decent day at work today. Pretty pretty busy. COVID home test and nursing home uh, inspections and all that good stuff. So it was a good day. Made the day go by quick. Mm. <clears throat> That's a spicy bite. That's where all the seeds were. Holy smokes. Whew. Mm. Sorry about the noise in the background. <clears throat> I hadn't planned on making a video. So I'd started some laundry, washing all the COVID off my clothes. I take a sip of water. Um, but then I wanted to, <clears throat> wanted to do a video tonight. Uh, just because I'm here alone in my apartment. So this is my hot Friday night date. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. That habanero is getting me. Good night. 
I forgot how spicy those things are when I mean, they're fresh. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. <clears throat> Beautiful. Ma'am, <clears throat> I know you guys are enjoying watching me burn. <laughs> But there's really not much to talk about since I talked to you guys yesterday. I was just really super stoked about this pack of peppers. I wanted to get on and thank him and and uh, just share that with you guys. <clears throat> I'm super stoked. Super. My mouth is on fire pretty good, to be quite honest. It's not miserable, but it is. It's burning for sure. As you guys can probably tell. But I'm going to finish the rest of this meal off camera. Thank you guys and gals for spending a little bit of time with me. I hope I didn't bore you too much. Um, <clears throat> thanks for always for all your support. Have a great evening. Hope, that, hope you have a good weekend. No matter what you do, go spend some time with your friends and family because it's very important. And uh, hopefully you get a chance to get outside. And eat something spicy if that's your gig because it uh, makes life a little bit more interesting. Definitely makes your food a little bit more interesting. Have a great evening. God bless. I'll see you guys next time.